all freshmen uh, were arrested after stealing from a Louis Vuitton store uh, right next to their team hotel. And basically Bro. what happened- What's going on guys, it's Steve. We, I, I, again, this is just allegations, okay? Yes, he's been arrested, but he's not guilty yet. But if he is, he's a complete idiot. A complete idiot, okay? How is, you were one year away from going to the league. You can literally buy 100,000 Louis Vuitton bags. And you're gonna do this. Now keep in mind, he's not guilty yet, you know, but he's been arrested for it. That doesn't mean you're guilty though, because remember, you still gotta go through the process, but still, let's just watch and see what happens, because this is some nonsense. Three UCLA men's basketball players, including Leangelo Ball, younger brother of Lonzo, and second son of LeVar, along with freshman Cody Riley and Jalen Hill, were arrested on shoplifting charges in China ahead of Friday's season opening game against Georgia Tech in Shanghai. UCLA released a statement saying, we are aware of a situation involving UCLA student athletes in China. The university is cooperating fully with local authorities on this matter, and we have no further comment at this time. Uh, Jeff Goodman, what can you tell us in addition to that as the man who broke this story? This is, this is such a shame, well, dude. Jello Ball is the middle son uh, of LeVar Ball. He's a freshman at UCLA. I actually sat down with him about 10 days ago, and they're on that trip in China where they're going to play against Georgia Tech on Friday. And I was told by a source that those three players, all freshmen, uh, were arrested after stealing from a Louis Vuitton store uh, right next to their team hotel. And basically Bro. what happened was about 20 uh, police officers stormed into the team hotel uh, at about 8 in the morning, yesterday morning. Damn, they mobbed. Interrogated <laughs> the players from both Georgia Tech, three players, UCLA, three players for hours. That would scare me. The coaches in. Was like 20 uh, Chinese basically dudes with some, guns some and strong shit. words of, hey, if you don't tell us the truth, you are not going back home. So eventually UCLA, I was told their players did tell them the truth and uh, they were arrested. And it will be interesting to see what happens to those players. And if they uh, certainly they're not going to play Friday night. But the bigger issue they have is uh, how long they're going to be in jail and uh, when they're going to be able to go home. So they're currently being held they're they're in jail right now in china they were well as of now again it's it's the middle of the night it's actually early in the morning right now so as of uh, a couple hours ago i was told they were being held and again it'll be interesting to see kind of what happens next with these guys and lavar ball uh, scheduled to go out uh, for this trip to see his son play his first college game at ucla I've tried to call the bar shame, and uh, haven't been able to get a hold of him yet, but it'll, uh, again, you know, this is uh, kind of a crazy situation because if you get caught here, it's one thing. If you get caught stealing in China, who knows yeah, what's going to happen to these kids. Uh, that's crazy. Now, look, again, just because just there's a confession doesn't always mean, I mean, most of the time it does. I'm just trying to be as unbiased as possible. It doesn't always mean that you're guilty because like, like he said, they interrogated them, pressured him. Can you imagine 20 Chinese men with guns, you're in a foreign country. Like, can't go. You know, you don't understand what they're saying. No disrespect, right? But <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. But you don't understand what they're saying. Okay, so, and it was like, oh, you're not going to go home if you don't tell us. So maybe they just said that because they were afraid that they weren't going to go home. But now they might not go home anyway, you know, but it's looking like he did it. You got to be a complete moron. I'm sorry. You got, I, I don't hold back when it comes to stuff like you got to be a complete moron. Your 16 year old brother drives a $90,000 Lamborghini Gallardo. Your brother is signed to the Los Angeles Lakers. You are one year away from being in the NBA. And you're going to sit here and tell me you are stealing Louis Vuitton bags when you can literally buy the whole store if you wanted to without sweating it because your, your family's worth like 10, 20 plus million dollars. You gotta be freaking kidding me. Come on, man. You weren't even born and you didn't even grow up in that type of environment to be doing stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, what are you doing? You wouldn't even, you know what I'm saying? It, it'd be different if it were me, for example. Grew up in the inner city, Brooklyn, New York, okay? But it's still not an excuse, but for some, he grew up in the freaking suburbs. What are you doing, dude? You gotta be kidding me. That's, like, you have something that millions of people want and you just blow it. Come on, dude, what are you doing, man?
Hopefully he learns his lesson. Hopefully they don't OD with the sentence because who knows how the Chinese government is going to be with this guy and the rest of them. Um, maybe he'll just get bailed out and they'll call it. Maybe they'll just reach a settlement and they won't press charge. Who knows? But it's not a good look, man. Especially if you want to play in the NBA. That's not a good look. Usually I don't do videos like that, but big news. I'm out. Peace.